Back again. Just left and I came right back here to record all over again because we're doing the Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 7 Reunion Show Part 1 Review. That's right. And it's on time the next day. How about that? How about that for me? Being on time. Can I get a round of applause? Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be consistent. I'm working on it. Persistence and consistency is the name of the key. The name of the game. Did I say name? Okay. Anyway, um, everyone looked good. Everyone looked good except Claudia. Not that Claudia didn't look good. I'm not a Claudia hater, so to speak. But she looked basic. You know, like I but I get it. It's her first reunion show and she doesn't have as much coins as everybody else. And you know, she so we gonna have to work on Claudia. Claudia, if you're gonna be here next season, which I kinda hope you don't because you ain't got no storyline. But if you come back with a storyline, um Hopefully, we can get you a stylist um, for reunion shows because that's when you're supposed to come snatched and together. Everyone wore white. I thought that was very cute. Um, maybe it was going to bring peace and the one would get dragged. But um, I don't know. Claudia's dress, it was cute. It was just like something that, I, you know, regular, we would just go wear. You know, I feel like when you're on these shows and you have these platforms, you're supposed to be able to step it up, okay, like all the way up. So, if I ever get on a reality show and I got to be on a reunion show, I need a stylist, like, there. Don't have me looking a mess, you know. So, but everyone looks cute for the most part. Um, I actually like Nene's wig. She said the wig's name was Andy, and she had this all-to-the-side hair and, you know, the little lace front and back. It was cute. It was cute. I liked it. It was long. It was blonde. It was her. Um, Candy had her boobs out, just sitting. Everybody boobs out. Cynthia, I mean, Cynthia. 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 <laughs> I'm tired. Cynthia looked very pretty. Um, she had this big curly hair. And it wasn't like the big curly, you know, normal weave. It was like spirals, but big. It was really pretty. And um, Kenya's dress was, it was nice. Uh, Phaedra looked pretty. Was that everybody? <laughs> Cynthia, Claudia, Kenya. Nene Phaedra. And Portia came towards the end and she was cute as well. Um, so they were cute. In the beginning, they had this commercial that was a parody made. It was like a joke of how you can get a house five Atlanta wig. And it was a cute commercial. It was really cute. Um, there was some shade though. It was talking about some of their wigs. Like they called Candy Ronald McDonald. They called uh Phaedra Grandma Gaga. <laughs> and I was like laughing. But it was cute though. And they all seemed to take it, you know, well. So that was nice. Um, Andy was talking about the hair first. Um, and he tried Kenya from the gates, okay? Not a Kenya fan, but he tried her. He, uh, he said, both you and Portia have, like, a hair. And he get the fish. no, 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 I have hair care. She has wigs and weaves and whatever. Like, she, you know, kind of was like, like, hers was better. Like, girl, like, uh, whatever. So then, um... And it was like, well, is that all your hair right there? Or, you know, you got some added. She said, well, I have a ponytail. I have a little added for volume. And he was like, you have a lot added. <laughs> Did y'all catch that? And he told this girl he has, she has a lot of hair added. So the shade was real. Um, and then he asked her, was her hair the only prop she had? And she was like, Andy, lay off. Okay. And she said, ooh, girl, don't be talking Andy like that. Don't you sign your checks? Like, calm down. But... Andy be throwing shade, though, so I do like that. You know, he let them get back with him sometimes because he do be throwing shade because he did throw some shades when he says, you got a lot added. You got a lot added. It's like, oh, you got a lot added. So then, um, what happened? Uh, they talked about Nene and Cinderella. Nene said that Phaedra was the only one that supported. She called her or texted her, I guess. She reiterated this because she already said it on the last show. But Phaedra was the one that texted her the day of her show. Claudia did send the email regarding the tickets. They didn't go into detail about that. I wanted to know more. Like, what did the email say? Hey, can I still get a ticket to your show? Or, like, what did it say? Because if she did, Claudia, you tried it. Because y'all just got into this big argument um, at Phaedra's thing. So, of course, she ain't trying to have you come. But if it was before that, y'all got into that fight at Dr. Chess thing. So, of course, she still don't want you to come. Like, you know. And then the only person that actually came to see her was Phaedra. But Portia's your friend, too. Why didn't Portia come was my question. Uh, what else happened? Um, Claudia brought up the fact that 
Now they they met, they asked Claudia. Well, someone I guess someone sent in a text or something, in a, you know, a tweet, and they asked why did Claudia bring up the therapy at the charity thing for Phaedra? And Claudia said, well, she had to take her opportunity when she could because not like she see Nene often. It was still bad timing, Claudia. It was still very very bad timing. It's kind of like with um. The R&B divas with Stacey Francis bringing up some at the wrong time. That was the wrong time, Claudia. This is charity. So now you, and then you chasing the girl. She clearly don't want to talk to you, but you chasing after her. Leave her the hell alone. So you can't really defend why you did that. Like, tact. Get some tact and get some business. Somebody don't want to talk to you. You cannot force them to talk to you at the end of the day. Like, let it go. And you're here for charity. So stop. So then, Nene and her go back and forth about some stuff, and I don't really write notes about it because I didn't care. Someone asked Nene how's Bryson, and she said, Bryson's good, he's 25. Why are we asking Nene how her son is doing and shade? Like, that's personal. As a mother, that's personal. J Bryson is, is effing up. Yes, he is doing some stuff. He is effing up, and don't nobody appreciate it. But he is an adult. He is a grown man. Nene cannot control her grown son. You know what I'm saying? And she don't need to keep taking care of him either. Like, he needs to grow up and be a man. So, that was a dumb question. <laughs> that, it was, to me. Anyway. So then, uh, Nene said some kind of tweet, I guess, on her blog about how, you know, something about, I'm going to see you at the reunion. She was talking to somebody basically because they hating on her. You talk so much, yap, 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 I'm going to see you at the reunion. And Andy was like, who was that too? And she was like, Candy. And she said that every time that, you know, Candy had something to say regarding Nene this season, it was always hateful and nasty. And she's like, why do you hate me so much? Like, what's that about? And Candy's like, I don't hate you. I just hate that superior complex that you have. So then they start going back and forth and, you know, you this, you that, da, 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 da. you done did this with this person, da, 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 da. you know, just, uh, <laughs> I just didn't care. Um, and then it got to Phaedra, and Candy's like, Phaedra is talking to you about certain things, where, because I wasn't talking to her for like two weeks or whatever, I wasn't texting her every day, how you doing for two weeks or something like that, and then she confided in you, and I was just saying that you have definitely had this complex where you snap on people when you get mad at them, and use information you know about them against them type of stuff, and... Phaedra and Nene both said that Phaedra did not ever confide in Nene about Candy. Um, and what we saw, she really didn't. It was stuff that Nene and Portia, you could see it, I guess. It's like, well, we hanging out with you a lot. Where is uh, Candy? Ain't that your girl type of thing? You know, you can assume stuff. Like, I see something ain't right with y'all. What's going on? Y'all need to get that together. Like, especially... Right now that your friend is going through it. I can, I want to almost say that it's kind of like... Because when Nene and Portia did it together, I don't think it was because Phaedra was confiding in them like, oh, Candy ain't good. But it's just like, right now she's going through so much. Where is her best friend? Where, you know, y'all need to work on that because she needs you right now. Basically, it could have been something else, but I guess that's how they were trying to portray it. So, um... They both let Candy know, no, Phaedra did not talk to, you know, Nene about you or whatever. And the reason why Nene and Phaedra were able to click was because Nene has been through a divorce and where the husband left the house and his son was heartbroken. So she would just kind of give her some support, especially because her friend wasn't there. But then it basically showed that Candy is insecure and jealous that Nene and Phaedra were able to be friends because she's like, well, she was mean to you back in the day and then you talked about my mama. Well, girl, she ain't the only one that's to say some stuff about your mama. Your mama's crazy shit. She done done some really jacked up stuff and I don't understand why Candy is holding on to old stuff like that. Your mama did say she was going to drag somebody. Nene repeated. It wasn't even like Nene was throwing shade at your mama at that moment. A lot more people done threw shade at Mama Joyce for you to be mad at over that little comment. That wasn't even nothing. I thought you were still mad about the old stuff when Unity got into it back when Kim was on the show when Candy first came. When she was like, you, you trying me, don't do not do it. I will get crazy. You know, when Candy was like, with the short haircut about to whoop Nene's ass, we thought. So I thought it was that you was holding on to. If you holding on to last season because she said something about Mama Joyce, girl, get over it. We all got shit to say about your crazy ass mama. Okay? That's it. Your mama is nuts. Your mama is shady. Your mama is wrong most of the time. Like, if your mama wasn't on the you know, show acting a donkey, wouldn't nobody have nothing to say. Now, you can't be, you, girl. But she's completely 
insecure because Nene and Phaedra don't build this friendship. But you was too busy. You had your new marriage, which is cool. Congratulations. You had your play, which is cool. Congratulations. But your friend was going through something and you weren't there for her. You weren't reaching out. And I think part of it was the fact that you had your new husband and your new husband is friends with Phaedra's husband and Phaedra's husband and her going through it and your husband's ear, you're like, yeah, well, she wrong. She wrong. You should have been able to say, Todd, look, Phaedra's my friend. She's been my friend for a long time. That's sensitive. That's my dog. And, and I'm going to have my dog's back. Period. You should not be able to, you should be able to separate that. But I don't think you was able to separate that because you got this new husband and you weren't able to separate friendship and marriage and be there for your friend. And it's not like your friend chose the time that you was going through so much to go through personal stuff. Life happens and we cannot be slacking as friends to our friends. Like, yes, I could get married tomorrow. My best friend has MS. And regardless of if I'm married or I got, you know, an event coming up and I'm doing this, that, and the other, I would not not be there if my friend's health deteriorated. If my friend went through something, I couldn't be like, well, girl, you be all right because I'm busy. Like, no, sometimes life happens and we got to, like, make time and make room for our friends. And you weren't doing that, Candy. Like, own up to that. You were not being a friend for your friend. She was really going through some stuff. And where were you was the question. Period. So... Nene was like, Candy, we, I see you. And Candy was like, I see you too. We see each other. We see each other. And I see both of y'all too. So then Andy asked Phaedra, have you took the kids to see Apollo? And she said no. And she explained once again why it's hard to take kids there because she got a one-year-old. Um, it was snowing in um, Kentucky and you got to be outside. And I got a one-year-old, a three-year-old. And if they got a bathroom break, they got to leave. She explained it all over again. Which... I don't know if it's true. I don't. I have to go do that, so I don't know. Candy uh, said that she's had to go to that same place in Kentucky, and the people take kids and stuff all the time. And he gonna be there for eight years, so he need to see his kids. Basically, that's what Candy said. And I just, I didn't like that. I don't like that. This your friend. Like, even though my friends can be wrong about some stuff, I'm riding for my friend. You know what I'm saying? I might tell my friend behind closed doors with mixed company and around, like, girl, you should let them kids go see their daddy. Like, but when we get on stage and with cameras on us, I'm be like, look, this is her life. These are her kids. And she doing what she feels best for her kids. That's all you got to say. But to, to make that comment, I ain't like that shit, Candy. I didn't. I didn't like that. I don't think you're 100 good ass friend. I don't want you to be my girl on some shit like that. Like, I need my friends to have my back. And you ain't have her back right in that moment. That's why she friends with Nene. You're dropping the ball when it comes to having your friends back. That's just how I feel. If y'all think I'm wrong, mm, whatever. That's how me and my friends get down. So, Phaedra is taking... She's still married to him. Everybody was making friends. Like, how are you and the power? You guys are together? I'm still married. So, how you found a divorce? No, not yet. And everybody else surprised. And she said, I'm taking the time to do what I feel is best. I don't want, you know, years down the line, my kids to see this and see a bad decision. Um... I want them to see me as a good mother, as a good wife. I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do what's right and best for my family and my children, which I respect. Give her time. She got eight years to decide what she want to do, for real. But Apollo was the one that first said he was going to get divorced, so maybe he'll file the papers. Um, so then, uh, Andy asked, has he ever gotten physical? They showed the little outburst that he was having on set or whatever, and has he ever gotten abusive or well, physical with you, Phaedra? And she got quiet for a second. And took her time answering, which we was all like, ooh, what happened? And she said, I don't know if I need this to discuss this with you, to be honest. Which was the best answer. Very good answer. Because that ain't nobody's business for real. Especially if you don't want to put that out there like that. He's in jail with his allegations. You just... How about he ain't here no more. He in jail. I'm trying to take care of my kids and move on. I, I do feel like I get that they need to be in people's business because it's a reality show. But some stuff is just, ooh, and that's sensitive. I wouldn't bother Fred about that either. So, um, then someone said something like how Kenya said that, that it's bad to kick somebody when they're down. And it was like, but it seemed like you were doing that with Phaedra. And then uh, Andy was like, did you ever reach out to, he was talking to Kenya, did you ever reach out to Phaedra while she was going through? She's like, I don't remember doing that. I don't remember. <laughs> If I reached out to Phaedra or not. If Phaedra, like, you didn't. <laughs> but, I mean, I can't stand when somebody says, oh, I don't remember. Or I don't recall. Then, yeah, Cliff, BS. That is a bunch of BS. Um, so, then uh, they showed Portia. And then when Portia got on there, the shade became real. So, 
Andy said, oh, Portia, your dress is similar to Kenya. She said, really? I haven't noticed. And then um, Kenya says, Portia had hair just like Kenya from a reunion, last reunion or reunion before that. Your hair, like, her hairstyle was just like mine. Girl, many people don't wear their hair straight down. Like, what? Her hair's just like mine. Girl, bye. Your hair was just like somebody else's. Sit down somewhere. That ain't just a plain, simple weave that is just straight flat. Okay, like. And blue book. Like, that's just... What? So then, Portia says, I see you're rocking the naked hair. We ponytail. It's cute, girl. It's cute. And then Andy said, Kenya, are you wearing uh, Portia's brand? And she said, no, I don't buy $3 bundle <laughs> And even Nene left. I was cracking. I was like, no, what? Shade. These girls like to throw the punches, don't they? So Portia explains why she didn't talk to Claudia. She said, initially, she wasn't trying to not have a good relationship with Claudia, but Claudia kept mentioning Kenya, and at that time, her and Kenya did not have, you know, good energy between them to when she didn't want to hear it. And Claudia was like, so I was trying to get you guys to work out your differences and come to a conclusion, so that was so bad of me. No, it wasn't bad of you, Claudia, but it was not your business. That's the whole thing. No one asked you to be the peacemaker. You're new. I don't know you. Therefore, stay out my business. I can respect Portia feeling like that. Don't come in here. First of all, you Kenya's friend. I don't know you. I just had to turn myself into jail. And I got this legal stuff going on because of your friend. And all you want to do is talk about your friend around me? Nah, dog. Bad, bad. You know what it is? What it is. I don't trust you. I don't know you. I don't want to talk about her. And it's that simple. So then Claudia, um, well, Portia said that Claudia, she found out through other associates that Claudia kept asking about information about Portia's personal life, like who she dating, where she get that from, who she with, who she with. So then, um, Claudia start going around saying that Portia was getting all these gifts and dating a married man. And that just went back and forth. Claudia's like, I know you're with a married man. I know facts of married African, blah, 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 the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it was just like, <laughs> it was stupid to me. Like, why do you care? If she's with an African married man. Like that ain't your business. It's really not your business. Who the hell cares except for the African man and his wife. Like I don't understand. Why you feel the need to prove to people. That she was with. The, who the hell cares. Who cares. It was so stupid to me. Claudia has a serious heart on for Portia. Like I get Portia was your storyline. Mainly your storyline. The fact that you was beefing with Portia. And you was beefing with Nene. That is why you were here. Get a life. Get a life and get something going on for yourself. Like you had a little stand-up show. That was stupid because you weren't that funny. I don't understand. Like it was just, it was so dumb to me that Claudia, like this whole, like seriously for like six or seven minutes, we see Claudia going back and forth like, it was with a man, it was with a man, man. Like, I was like, shut up. Oh my gosh, who cares? Who cares? So then, um, we see a cute moment with Andy and Aiden. They're talking um, through little, like, FaceTime, and it's really cute. Aiden is just adorable. Phaedra got some cute little kids. So then Portia says that she was actually dating a young athlete at the time, doing the whole taping. She's not dating that person anymore, so she's not going to say their name. But this whole African allegation is not true. She had her a little young athlete. The ball, she had her baller. Okay, so then Cynthia defends Claudia and said, well, you're saying that, you know... It's bad to stay out this stuff and stuff that's not facts. When you were running around talk slandering my husband by saying that he was messing around people too. And why was that okay for you? And then she was like, why did you even say it? Why was you even worried about what Peter was doing? Why, who he was doing it with? Da, 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 da. So then Phaedra was like, why was you running around saying stuff about me and my husband? And Cindy was like, well, your husband told my husband. So I was repeating what your husband said. My thing is, why the hell you're repeating what my husband said? Why are you worried about me and my husband? Like, that would have been my thing. Cynthia needs a storyline, too. Clearly. So, it was just like, well, she did this, so that's why I can do this. And that's why she did this. And it was just stupid. It was like, oh, uh, everybody shut up. So then the job noticed that Candy was sitting with the other girls. Like, Candy was sitting with Kenya, Cynthia, and Claudia. And then you got Nene, Phaedra, and Portia. Andy's in the middle. Candy was sitting over there with the other girls, and her best friend is over here. Um, and she was quiet when all this back and forth. Candy seemed really uncomfortable, and I wouldn't let them set me up like that. Candy, I wouldn't have been sitting with them girls. I wouldn't have sit with nobody. I don't like, can we rearrange these seats 
where I'm sitting kind of by myself chilling since I ain't really taking the side. Since you truly neutral, why are you sitting over there with them girls? Like, you know, since, since you're neutral. Um, Claudia said that she actually did do stand-up, and it was great. Good for you. Um, they asked, what was the status with Kenya with Life Tours on? She said that she's still working on shopping and stuff. They asked... Nene, how did she think Cynthia's acting was in Life Tours on? And Nene threw shade and said it was okay. And then it was just crickets. And it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was just like, shade. It was okay. <laughs> okay. Which it was. It, it wasn't great. But Nene's not the greatest actress either. But Nene's getting them checks. So I will say that. Work, Nene. <laughs> Work. I'm not mad at you. So Andy asked Phaedra what were her thoughts. I guess Kenya gave this big thing about how, because. Portia does not feel need to apologize to Kenya. And I guess she feels like that because Kenya's apology to Portia, she don't feel like it was sincere. Which I agree with. I did agree with that because it seemed like she apologized to her. We friends. Let's work it out. Let's hug it out. And then when they get to Puerto Rico, it's like, well, you mess with a married man. Look, then we just hug this out. Why you, the hell you doing this? I, I said that same thing. So I get it. Um... And then Kenya goes into this spiel about how it's very unfortunate and sad that your father, you know, fought for justice and nonviolence and you, you know, had this altercation and you want to apologize for violence and this is the anniversary of Selma and with that history, like, girl, was anybody, I don't like when people do that. They try to, you <laughs> I don't think Martin Luther King or Portia's grandfather, anybody back there will be proud of your behavior either. Like, just because you don't physically attack anybody or hurt somebody does not mean that you don't abuse people. Because you do. You antagonize them with your words and, and with gestures, like throwing scepters in their face and all that kind of stuff. That is violence in a sense because you might hit me with that scepter. You know, like, you do some shady stuff. So don't try to get self-righteous with Selma's anniversary and... And people fought for non-violence. Don't do not do that. Don't do that like you better than somebody else because you got dragged. You got dragged because you deserved it. It is what it is. You just, it happens. People run their mouth. There's consequences to the actions. Your consequence was you got dragged. Okay? It is what it is. So, and Phaedra said that. She was like, I don't think it's fair for her to say that it was the Selma thing and to mention that because all of us have not done behavior that we could be proud of up here. And, you know, that's what it is. And, and um... I agree with that. And then uh, Kenya said the whole thing with Christian. Well, you say you're a Christian woman, but you won't be forgiving. And then um, Phaedra was like, there are plenty of whores in the Bible. So you are in good company, okay? Because <laughs> the whole whore thing. You can't even whore, but you're a Christian. Didn't she say sorry? Like, oh, God. Like, if you forgive somebody and you letting something go and you starting over, stop bringing up old stuff. Candy, stop bringing up old stuff. Kenya, stop bringing up old stuff. Like, let's stop bringing up old stuff. Like, I'm kind of over all these old fights. That's bringing it back up. Let's fight about some new stuff, okay? So then, Kenya said that she does think she's a better example of a black woman than Portia. And <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Okay. Uh, okay. If I'm, if I'm going to think about the women on that, that set, Anyone up there that's a better example of a black woman? Mm. I would want to mix some of them together. I think that carried herself the best is definitely Phaedra. I probably would go with Demetria because she ain't done nothing. <laughs> Where Demetria at? She might be the best example because she ain't done nothing. People don't like Phaedra. Y'all know I love me some Fae Fae. I like Phaedra. I don't think Phaedra done nothing wrong for real. You know what I'm saying? She done threw some shade after people a couple times. But as far as anything else, she ain't really done nothing wrong. Now, we know about y'all. can accuse her and say she was doing herself with a pile if you want to. But you don't know. You ain't got no proof and she ain't gone to jail. So, as far as I can see, she all right with me. And then... Uh, the whole whore thing. They were like, well, you called her a whore, you know, because of this. And your husband said that he didn't call her a whore. And she said, no, I called Kenya a whore. Not because of, not just because of what my husband said, but because of her behavior. If you display whorish behavior, then you could be called a whore. Which is true. Like, we have been saying this review after review. It's not just because of Apollo. When you first came introduced to this whole show, you was like, Apollo is so cute. You was all flirtatious and 
like hugging her husband and you twerking on Peter and you was flirting with the like married uh waitress and stuff like that. Waiters, I mean, you was being a hoe, girl. Then after this woman told you, don't speak to my husband if I'm not there, you went behind her back and did it anyway. Hoes do that. I would call you a hoe up, down, front, back, and around if you go against my wishes like that. And I would hit you. I would have been the one to drag you because you went against my wishes as a wife and went around it. So, yes, I'm going to call you a whore. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So, that's it. <laughs> then it went to, all right, come next week. So, next week should be good. The husband's going to be there. Peter's going to get his peach finally. Is Demetria coming? Mm-hmm. Like, comment, subscribe. Where's Roger Bob? Uh, tell a friend. Let's talk about it. I'm about to go watch everybody else's reviews. So you guys have a beautiful day. And um, 